talk to you about how I pick it out the uh, donkeys during the day just to kind of get them off pasture or out of the corral. Give them some fresh grass so they don't eat that little small corral down over there. So what I've got here is a picket stake. Um, right there. And what I do is you want to make sure you, you drive your picket stake all the way in the ground. Okay. And I've already driven this one all the way down. And you want to make sure it's driven all the way down. That way if, if the donkeys are walking around, they're not going to wrap up on the uh, picket stake. Uh, and, and make their rope shorter and shorter. Um, the way these things are tapered, they also have a little, little notch right here. So they're pretty easy to, to pull up. Um, uh, the only time they get hard to pull up is if you leave them a couple days. And if you do that, um, if you hit the top a couple times and drive it down, you know, another quarter of an inch, it pulls right, right out pretty easy. Um, but you can just kind of grab it here and just pull the whole thing right up. Pretty easy to pull up. Uh, but that's how I do it. Then what I've got is a, I've got uh, one inch nylon here. And this is one I made, bar tacked twice, so it's not, that'll hold, you know, 500 pounds right there. Um, it's about 25 feet long. And then on the end of it, I've got another loop and I tie a bowl in here so I can get it off easy, right? And then I'm using, this is a nylon rope, uh, you know, some folks will tell you they like to use cotton rope, and that's fine. I mean, really, what you're looking for is a soft rope. Okay, you just don't want you know to hurt to, um, to rub them raw there with a with a hard rope. And you know, out here in the back country, it rains a lot and, and it can stay damp. And so I really avoid cotton rope just because of that. Because especially if you use the cotton rope out here in this heavy grass and there's dew, it just gets so wet and stays wet. And so I try not to use cotton when I'm out here. This nylon will dry much quicker and last longer than a cotton rope will. Um, so then what you want to do though, is you want to tie another bowline around here. Uh, if you don't know how to tie a bowline, just Google it. There's plenty of folks show you how to tie a bowline. But you want to get it good and tight around, around their leg there so that it's not going to pull off over the hoof. And Sabina here, she's really good on a, on a um, when she's using a, 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 a picket. She doesn't pull too bad at all. She does well, don't you girl? And so then what I do is, okay, for the other donkey, I just put a bell around her. And I just kind of let her roam around, and she won't go very far. She'll go, you know, maybe 30, 40 yards is about it. Now, I use that Swedish bell there because uh, instead of a cowbell. Because a cowbell's got the sharp corners on it, right? And, and donkeys like to roll and, you know, take dust baths, so... Uh, if you're using that Swedish bell, it doesn't have any sharp corners, and so it's going to protect her a little better and keep her keep her digging in her neck if she if she does want to roll or lay down. Um, plus, it's not an overwhelming loud sound, you know, like you get uh, from other bells. Uh, but I can still hear, and it gives me, you know, it gives me a sense of where she's at. She's not going to go far, like I said. Um, we've got a creek right over here uh, to our left. Um, and so if she wants to go down and, and, and water, she can. She can do that. And then so what I'll do is I'll, I'll take, um, I'll swap them out. I'll put Gypsy on the picket and then let Sabina walk around for a little while, maybe for a couple hours. So that's what I do with them uh, during the day. <laughs>